Hi everyone, I'm Andre. And I'm Kirsten. That's my wife. And she's nervous to be on the mic. And uh, the funny thing is, I do a lot of teaching and podcasts and producing, and I'm nervous to have her in the room with me, which is a first, because I can talk to anybody at any time about anything. But apparently not today. Anyway, welcome to episode one of Strungecast, and Strunge is pronounced strange if you can't say Strunge. It's better than a Scottish accent, by the way. That's better. So the reason being is because I was so stuck for names, I wanted to pick um, Ears Wide Open, Nothing to See, Everything to Hear, but Ears Wide Open is already a podcast done by Reverend Somebody, whose name I've forgotten. And I was like, well, we can't do that. So I went for this instead. And if you Google Strungecast, apart from this, you won't find it. So something that's unique, got to be that. So my lovely wife is uh, over there on the other side of the room. And there's no video along with this. It's just audio. So enjoy. And basically we thought, well, I thought, had a shower thought, as you do that I would come here and discuss topics that interest me. And I'm not turning into a sort of commentary YouTube channel or anything, but in a way, uh, discussing my thoughts with somebody else allows me to springboard ideas and also bounce them off of you, the listener, as well. And the first thing that bothered me, and I say bothered sort of lightly, uh, is that I watched a video from a YouTube creator called Visual Venture, and it was about TikTok trends. And this video was particularly about if your partner asks you to peel an orange. And that's kind of why I thought episode one should be called Will You Peel My Orange? Which is not even innuendo, but it sounds like it. Scary innuendo. And I asked my wife about this as I got out of the shower and we talked about it. And you had some thoughts, didn't you? Well, there has to be context to the question. Yeah. It, you know, there's a, there's a time and a place and, you know, <laughs> I... I think it depends on what you saw in the video. Like, what bothered you about the video? What bothered me about the video was that if a woman, uh, it was particularly women, asked men to peel an orange and the man decided not to do it, that they would leave that man. Now, I think more egregious things like not doing the washing up or vacuuming around the house or just doing anything other than peeling an orange would be more grounds for leaving but peeling an orange should not be grounds for leaving somebody, I don't think. No, in that context, then absolutely not. But I think in those situations, what they're trying to say is if the partner, male or female or whatever, says no to you for such a simple request, maybe there's a, you know, something else going on. Maybe... A deeper meaning. Yeah, the orange is just the symbol and perhaps it causes feelings of, well, if you can't even do the simple thing of peeling me an orange. What can you do? What else are you not doing for me? Um, you know, obviously, if I came up to you and you were in the middle of writing a piece of music or playing on Jamulus or whatever it was that you were doing, and I said, can you peel this orange for me? <laughs> You'd be like, well, no, obviously not. But... If I were just walked up to you and said, can you just help me and peel this, please? I don't think that you would have a problem with it. You I might not. wonder why I'm asking you to, but I don't think you would say no. So I think the saying no to a simple request is the problem, not the orange. See, this such. is why it's great to have another take on it, because I'm just a man, right? <laughs> so to have a woman's take on it and someone I love and trust, it's just great. I feel like I can get all we can get better sides of a story because there's always three sides of a story there's your side my side and the middle ground so I like that and I respect that so <laughs> if I ask you to peel an orange and you're in the middle of watching your favorite tv program are you going to pause the program and peel it or are you just going to watch the program no if you ask me I always pause the, pro the program to do anything that you need so that sounds terrible like <laughs> I always bug her about things I try not no, to no, no 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 but if you said you know <laughs> the phone's ringing. Yeah. This is what happens. It's yeah, fine. Okay. It's okay. I don't know who it is, so we'll, we'll leave that. Um, yeah, like when you've asked me before to, you know, come and click something on the screen or whatever. Uh, any situation like that, I would always... Now, that's a whole other thing, isn't it? Clicking things. Yeah, yeah. This is one of those things that, as a blind musician, I get annoyed that I have to even ask... And so I try very little to ask anybody to do anything like that. But sometimes needs must. 
Yeah, and unless there's something that I physically cannot stop doing, I will always come and do it straight away. So I, I don't know. For me, it wouldn't be a big deal if you said, can you peel this? I'd be really shocked, to be fair, because you don't really eat fruit. So. <laughs> there is that. There <laughs> if is you that. asked me to peel an orange, I'd probably be so stunned that it would take me... A while. A few minutes to even register what you'd said. But... Yeah, it, it would not be an issue for me. I'd do it too. That's the thing. Like, I don't know. It was just the fact that somebody decided to turn it into a TikTok trend in the first place was weird to me. I think in those situations, they're talking about red flags. You have red flags and green flags in a relationship. And if you've asked a simple request of your partner, male or female, whichever way round you want to go, mm -hmm. it is a bit of a red flag if they're not willing to help you in a simple task without a, a reasonable explanation as to why not. So I think that's probably what that's highlighting. I think I they really like that. Probably would have said the fact that he's not helping you peel the orange is a red flag because why would he not? Yeah. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. And I'd love to hear your thoughts about it in the comments because this is one of those weird things where I don't know if there is a right or wrong. I thought I did, but perhaps I don't. And that's why she tempers me so much. You see, she's great. What what you think you know, you don't really. And you can you can be swung like a pendulum from side to side. Then you come up with new ideas, new fallacies, or whatever it is. So that's the peel the orange. Now, that was basically all for this first one. But like, it's very short. So, thoughts. Do you have any weird burning questions that it'd be quite fun to answer together? Because I like things like that. Are you asking me if yeah. I have any questions? No, no, no you I'm asking, asking this. There's no one here. General. There's no one I here. I thought you were asking people if they wanted to like... Oh, they can do that too. Comment in fact, things. It would be good. Not if I had questions. I think it would be great if people in the comments wrote in and asked us questions as a couple. I mean, we haven't really introduced ourselves as such. My, if you're coming to us for the first time, as maybe one or two of you might be, but my long-term subscribers won't be. I'm Andre and I'm a blind musician from London. And uh, I'm married to a lovely lady who, you know, is called Kirsten. And she's not blind. So there might be all kinds of questions around that as well. What more relationship questions? How did you find each other? Why? Why did you pick him? <laughs> oh, that's all so that. Harsh. But no, I think it's, it's, this could potentially be interesting something. I don't know of many, if any, other... Uh, actually, I know of there's one other blind podcast couple... Uh, she cited and he's blind as well called Eyes on Success I was interviewed for them years and years and years ago um, but sort of like an everyday thing or not you know I don't mean everyday in that we're doing this every day but like an everyday average thing theirs is very specific mine is just a thought of the moment and so yeah it was kind of a, a thought I had do you know one thing people ask me often go on then why do you like to hug people you know why I like to hug people because you can get the measure of a person and not in any bad way in a very nice way and I think when we met you weren't very tactile in that way, were you? Do you remember? I'm not very tactile. That's the big difference between us, is you are incredibly tactile. Um, and I don't mean that in a weird, freaky way, like you just touch everybody, because that's the bus, really weird. On the train. Yep. But you are very tactile, and you will, you know, hug family members and, you know, friends or whatever. But I am not. And that is... Um, not an issue between us because I think with you I am and I have grown to be over how long but <laughs> no but that makes it sound like it's taken me years and years to no, no, be no. okay it's the time we've been together which is yeah. a long time yes with you that's fine but I am not a tactile person nope. with other people there are only very few people that I'm comfortable hugging or being close to so that is a, a big big difference i got you to be with you yes it was but, fun <laughs> but i still would rather keep my distance from other people but that's fair yeah and that's a lot of people i think eye contact is enough for them mm -hmm. but in my case i don't have that option no that is true but yeah questions all sorts of questions so I pose them to you, in the, and I do mean you in the comments now, not you, my wife over there. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts and whether you think we should continue, because this is a trial. Pilots are always interesting. It's like the first thing, is it bad? Is it good? Is it rubbish? Would you listen to us talk? Because sometimes, I know, I have a friend who hates anything podcast. He probably won't even listen to this. 
Oh, that's sad. Podcasts are great. I think so too. And yeah. actually, you kind of got me into some of my favorite podcasts, like Cautionary Tales. Mm-hmm. And if you hadn't said, listen to this, I would never have known about Tim Harford. Yeah. And then I took Jake, our son, to go see a recording of Cautionary Tales a few months ago. And it was epic. So, and you know, I went through, the first time I went and watched or listened to Cautionary Tales, I picked a couple of titles that I thought were interesting. And they were. And then I skipped a bunch because the titles didn't interest me. And I was wrong to do that. I judged a title by its cover <laughs> um, or a, an episode by its title. And uh, then I went back through the entire, entire back catalogue and listened to everything, and I gained so much. So, one rule of thumb in a relationship is the yes, dear rule of thumb. It's whatever the wife says, you agree with. Happy wife, happy life. That's it. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I think that is the best ending we could come up with this time. Yes, dear. Bye-bye. <laughs>